Good afternoon and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here from Beaumont's very own Cigar Club. A couple of new things, new to us anyway. One new new and one a little, a little new, but certainly new to us on both counts. And both come from the venerable old brand of H. Upman. If you're not familiar with H. Upman, H. Upman goes back to, I believe, it was the 1840s, 1844. Uh, it was actually made as a custom blend for a German baker by the name of Hermann Uppmann, who had relocated and was in the banking industry there in Cuba. Uh, he had a custom cigar made for him, and that was the birth of the brand that we now know as H. Upman is the way most people tend to say it. <clears throat> but what we've got here are a couple of new things from Upman. Uh, what we're going to start with is, uh, I guess, the oldest of the bunch. And that is going to be the one right here in front of me. This is the 1844 Añejo. So the Añejo was actually released in spring of 2020. Uh, it ended up getting delayed over COVID issues and stuff, but I think it finally did not make it to shelves, at least by spring or summer of 2020. Uh, it has tobaccos in it that's aged at least five years, and it's actually made at the Florida Copan facility, the fa Florida Copan factory in Honduras that is owned by the manufacturer Altadas. Uh, what we have on this one, it is an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, and it actually is a, I don't know how well this shows on the video from way back here, but it is actually a very pretty wrapper color, uh, one that since it's got here a couple of days ago, I've actually been very curious to smoke one because the wrapper absolutely looks fantastic, but it's an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Pennsylvania Broadleaf binder, and the fillers are coming from DR, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Uh, so that is Añejo. Now, up in front of it here is the new new. Uh, this actually released just a couple of months ago. Uh, finally made its way to us here. And this is the Day Trader. Uh, so the Day Trader, uh, this is actually made by the Grupo de Maestros. The Grupo de Maestros are the, the top tier blenders for Altadas. And if you're not familiar with Altadas, that is going to be Monte Cristo. That is going to be... Uh, Warhawk, Roma Julieta, H. Upman, so on and so forth. Uh, so the Grupo de Maestros make all of the high-end, very special production product for Altadas, and they're the ones behind this. And they're having this one made at Tabacchiera de Garcia, Altadas' best-known, biggest factory located in the Dominican Republic. Now, what we have here on the banker is it is an Ecuadorian wrapper. We've got a Nicaraguan binder, and the fillers are coming from the Dominican Republic and from Nicaragua. Now, to show off the box a little bit, uh, it is a, a, a pretty straightforward box, but uh, supposedly with their designs and the images that they're using on this packaging, the goal in this is they're trying to make it look like a laptop for all of those day traders, all of those, those hard hustling finance guys out there uh, making their money on uh on, on the internet so that's the day trader that's a little nod to the current state of financial things currently considering it comes from a banker back in the day and this is an expansion of the h upman the banker series uh that we've had actually represented on our shelves here along with the banker herman's batch uh which we do have over here as well but two new things here on the shelves from h upman and they are ready to smoke uh come by and check out and see what we've got happening here from upman today here at cigar club southeast texas and i do believe that we've got it in our lake charles store as well. So both options should be available at both stores. Uh, so stop in and check one out today. It's going to wrap us up for this week's edition of the Humidor Report. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications here on the videos so you can stay up to date with what is hip and happening here at Cigar Club. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with you next week. And until then, I'm Justin, and we'll see you at the club.